Good afternoon, and welcome back to the Garden of Grace Devotion. My name is Pastor Katie, and I'm one of the pastors at Trinity Lutheran Church in Lilburn, Georgia. At the end of 2021, I offered the last Garden of Grace Devotion for the year in front of an empty dumpster in my front yard. That day, as I talked about the things that my husband and I and my children needed to get rid of, the scripture passage that I shared was from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 19 to 21. These familiar verses read, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moths and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. After that devotion, I received words of thanks from different folks who were encouraged to get rid of some of the things they no longer needed. Treasures that were no longer treasures things that it was time to pass on to someone else or to discard. It can be freeing, getting rid of some of the things that you don't need. That's one of the many lessons that I've learned over the past few weeks. I've continued to learn so much through this process. The thing I'd like to share today though, as I sit in front of this dumpster that is now filled to the top, is a verse from 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. It reads, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. I was reminded of this verse in a really interesting, odd way earlier this week. After lots of purging of our earthly treasures, there came a point when the dumpster was getting full and we needed to try to make some more room so we could discard the flooring that needed to be discarded. At this point, since there was nothing sharp in the dumpster, I decided to go on in myself to move some things around so I could make more room. After I spent some time shuffling things around, as I was on my way out of the dumpster, about to crawl over, climb over the side and back onto the ground, I looked down amidst the newly organized mess and I saw something. I saw something that reminded me of the scripture I just read. I saw this pencil sharpener. In this whole dumpster full of things, I saw this pencil sharpener and on it, it says, in everything, give thanks. Have you ever been reminded of God's love and grace in a really bizarre way? What a scene that was. There I was standing in the dumpster amidst all of these discarded items, some of which were easy to throw away and some were not. I looked down and here is this little pencil sharpener sitting in such a way that I could read the words, in everything give thanks, which is inscribed on the top. I stood there for a moment, then I took a picture. It was too ironic of a moment not to. In everything, give thanks. The saying can find its roots in scripture, including that verse from 1 Thessalonians that I already shared. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, giving thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. I think it's interesting and noteworthy to say that the passage does not say give thanks for 
all circumstances. I don't believe it's telling us that we have to give thanks when things go poorly or they're hard. It's in the midst of it though, that we give thanks to the God who is with us in all circumstances. Am I rejoicing that we've had some challenges? Not so much. Am I giving thanks for the difficult circumstances themselves? Not, not really. However, I am rejoicing in ways. I am rejoicing in God and giving thanks to God for the ways that God is journeying with us. In a really odd way, this dumpster being filled to the brim is a, vis a visual example of God's love to us through those that have come to help. My husband and I could not have done all of this by ourselves. There are many people who have come alongside us to lend a hand, to pray for us, to encourage us. Had folks not helped us in these ways, I may not have been able to see this little pencil sharpener it probably would have been at the bottom of the dumpster, dumpster somewhere, just rolling around. But because of the blessing of the people that helped us to get rid of the things we needed to, there it was, sitting towards the top. And I was reminded. I was reminded to look for ways to give thanks have you ever had any unusual circumstances where you've been reminded to give thanks? Sometimes people say this when you're going through something hard, remember to give thanks in everything and that doesn't feel good. But today with this passage, we're reminded, reminded to give thanks for our God who is with us in all circumstances. Each day of our lives, may our steadfast, gracious Lord help us to rejoice, to pray without ceasing, and to give thanks amidst the difficulties. May we look for ways and reminders to give thanks. Perhaps it might even involve a dumpster and a little pencil sharpener. Who knows? Thanks be to God who journeys with us always and in all ways. Amen.